So around 70 years ago now, a great conflict in Europe ended. The violent forces of tyranny and oppression that had been plaguing the continent had been dispelled. And scores of brave American women and men returned home, many of them to Merrimack, to great celebration, welcomed as heroes. Their names were publicly displayed by the public library where Lester had made a memorial, handcrafted it, and painted on the names of Merrimack's brave servicemen and women that had gone to serve in World War II. Around 40 years ago, the library's parking lot was expanded and the memorial was taken out of the ground with the intention to have it replaced and put somewhere else in town. The memorial was, however, lost after the parking lot was expanded and the names of Merrimack's World War II veterans were lost from the public. The gift that they left for the community, however, was not, as more brave men and women from Merrimack went overseas to protect our freedom and to serve the country. And about three years ago, I was in the process of looking for a project to do for my Eagle Scout. And the description for an Eagle Scout project is to do something that betters the community and an organization other than Boy Scouts. And when Mrs. Krieger told me that there was now a push in town by several people to have a new memorial constructed for World War II veterans, I knew in an instant that it had to be done and I knew I would undertake the task. I went to visit Mr. Langley, who gave me the specifications of his memorial and how he had built it and gave me plenty of advice that helped in the construction of this memorial now. Which brings us to today. America's greatest generation are beginning to leave us, but the gift that they've left us is not. Their legacy and free of freedom and courage that they bestowed upon us will stand longer than any memorial. One day far from now, their names will fade off the memorial, but our freedom will not. Their spirit, their message, and their courageous lives live on through every American serviceman who has put or is putting their life on the line in defense of our country and our values. These veterans may pass away, but our freedom will never die. I now like to declare this memorial officially dedicated to Merrimack servicemen and women of the Second World War. Thank you all for coming out today.